This is the second session of the synth. It's about reactive synthesis. Um, we will have three talks, and two of them are live, and one is uh, pre-recorded. So the first talk is by Ilya. Ilya, are you there? Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Where are you actually, Ilya? Um, let me open my uh, video. Yes, I'm uh, here. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, in which I mean, in which country? Ah, in Israel. Okay, hi to Israel. What time is it there? Uh, it's uh, eight o'clock, eight uh, thirty. Okay. In Good. So evening, you're. Yes. Uh, are you ready? So. Yes. Yes. Uh, should I record? Uh, you want me to start the recording, or you you're no. doing it? No, we are doing it. Yeah. Great. Okay. Uh, so let me just share my screen. There you go. You should uh, see this. You, you, do you see the screen? Not yet. All right. No, not yet. Sorry. Yes. Uh, here you go. Now you can see. Yes. Good. Great. Uh, okay. So, um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ilya, and uh, I'm going to talk about just in time reactive synthesis. Uh, this is a joint work with Professor Shachar Maud from Tel Aviv University. Uh, so let's begin. Okay. Uh, so first of all, a little bit of uh, background and motivation. Um, synthesis is, a, is an automated procedure to obtain a correct reconstruction system from a temporal logic specification. And uh, usually synthesis is divided into two phases. Well, is ability phase uh, followed by controller construction phase. And uh, while real realizability uh, was extensively studied and improved upon in terms of performance, uh, construction was something that was usually regarded as a given. Uh, but but empirical evidence uh, suggests that uh, actually control construction may take a considerable amount of time and space. And according to Blom et al. and uh, our own experience, even more than realizability checking in most cases. And also with existing construction algorithms, uh, the resulting controller is not always the most efficient storage-wise. It, the size, its size on disk uh, is, is very large in many cases. Uh, so we uh, borrow a concept from programming languages theory, uh, what is called just-in-time compilation, uh, where parts of the code are compiled uh, at runtime instead of uh, uh, statically before uh, runtime, and it can improve performance and uh, reduce uh, compilation time. Uh, so we borrow it to our domain of reactive synthesis, and uh, we define just-in-time synthesis or JITS in short, which is how I'm going to refer to it from uh, now on. And uh, similarly to just-in-time compilation, JITS, uh, it skips the static construction step uh, of the controller, and instead it dynamically computes the next states for the controller uh, during system execution, uh, all this while maintaining correctness. Uh, and our evaluation shows that overall synthesis time and space for JITS are significantly reduced uh, with a little effect on execution performance. And we will see that later on. Uh, so we need to briefly discuss the synthesis process for the GR1 fragment of linear temporal logic. Uh, GR1 uh, specifications uh, are structured and they consist of assumptions and guarantees uh, that are uh, assertions about initial states, assertions about uh, all states and transitions, what we call safeties, and assertions that should hold infinitely often in every run, what we call justices or uh, liveness uh, assertions. And uh, the process consists of two phases, realizability check and the controller construction. Uh, so realizability check is uh, actually solving a three-level nested new calculus formula, which you can see uh, the formula in the middle. And uh, some notation that we use is that there are n uh, justice guarantees of the system, and we use the index J to uh, refer to the justice guarantees. There are M justice assumptions uh, with index I, uh, 
uh, and this formula it characterizes the system's winning state for the assumed guarantee game and the formula at the bottom and uh, the formula uh, is intuitively uh, it intuitively means as long as the environment uh, satisfies its assumptions the system uh, is guaranteed to satisfy its uh, guarantees and this is the implication that you see uh, and this formula it induces a strategy for the system against the environment and also corresponding fixed points uh, X, Y, and Z, which are intermediate results, uh, BDDs, uh, from the reliability check computation. Uh, the BDDs, they represent sets of states. And the strategy is, is described, uh, and we describe the strategy quickly. Uh, the system strives towards satisfying the core injustice guarantee. It tries to move one rank closer towards the set of states of justice guarantee J. It, it means follow iterations of Y reachability systems. And once uh, justice guarantee J is satisfied, move on to the next uh, in a round robin fashion, but always stay in Z safety fixed points. Z is the winning set of uh, the system, never get out of Z. And also at every step, check if it's possible to force the environment to violate any justice assumption, uh, I, which means stay in X safety fixed point for uh, indexes J, R, and I. And uh, these are uh, the possible in transitions. And from these transitions, we construct a Mealy machine, which is this, the next uh, stage, the controller construction. Uh, and the JL1 construction algorithm is in, actually very simple. It simply disjuncts all the possible transitions between the fixed points according to the strategy into one big uh, BDD. Uh, and during the execution, uh, one step of the execution, it consists of the environment choosing values for the next input, after which the system, according to the strategy, chooses values for the next output. Uh, and it chooses its values uh, according to the one big uh, BDD of all the transitions. Uh, so uh, we have seen the construction of the static controller and the way it is executed. We call it static because it is computed uh, before the execution and it consists of uh, one big uh, BDD uh, which is uh, used during the execution. And we're ready to present JIS uh, and discuss its differences from the static approach. Uh, so uh, construction phase in JIS is replaced with a simple storing technique and the system strategy, strategy is migrated to runtime. And the actual controller is in fact never constructed, uh, which saves us a lot of uh, time and memory, which we will now see. Uh, so uh, a little bit about uh, JIT storing. Uh, as we said, instead of constructing the controller, we store the BDD arrays uh, of the intermediate results. And uh, we have to store Y, Z, and X. But uh, Y and Z BDDs are actually derived from X BDDs, and we show it uh, in the full paper. Uh, so it is enough to consider only X and encode them uh, using uh, three new variables J, R, and I, the following in the following way, which you can see here. And later, when we load uh, JITs, we can extract each uh, X BDD and compute Y and Z, and we have all. Uh, the information we need uh, for correct uh, execution. And uh, this encoding is actually very efficient because uh, X uh, BDDs are very similar to each other and uh, uh, the BDD uses that and encodes them uh, very efficiently. Uh, so now uh, JIT, uh, let's talk about JIT execution. Uh, the difference uh, in JIT from the static approach is that here the system strategy is realized programmatically at runtime by applying operations on the X, Y, and Z BDDs uh, during the next state's computation. And the JIT strategy is, uh, it differs from the static uh, approach in several, uh, uh, in several ways. Uh, first of all, uh, JIT behaves eagerly uh, at each step, it finds the lowest rank for current justice guarantee and rank, instead of just trying to move one rank towards it. So 
uh, it keeps uh, our uh, the minimal rank uh, for each justice guarantee. Uh, it is maintained programmatically. Uh, when current justice guarantee is satisfied, uh, JITS finds the lowest rank for the next guarantee. Uh, and another difference is that only uh, in the case in which current environment input uh, does not allow the system to decrease rank, uh, JITS finds uh, justice assumption that can be violated. Uh, so it really tries to uh, move towards justice guarantee uh, and only if it's impossible because of the, the input from the environment, it tries to violate uh, some uh, uh, justice assumptions of the environment and win the game uh, trivially. And here we just uh, put side to side. Uh, on the left, you have the controller construction for the static approach, uh, which is the, uh, the current static approach. Uh, and on the right, uh, you have the controller next state for JITS, which is the runtime uh, computation of, of the next state for the system. And uh, I, I just put it uh, one next to another so you can see that indeed the uh, strategy is migrated to runtime and uh, you have uh, the corresponding part uh, in the static approach uh, and in JITS. Uh, we also prove uh, soundness and completeness for JITS. Uh, and I will now explain what it means. Uh, so let NS static uh, be the output of the static next state function and NSG is the output of JIT's next state function, what we saw in the previous slide. Uh, the output is simply a set uh, of valid uh, states, uh, of valid assignments represented by BDD. Uh, all, and of course, for the same environment input, uh, and we show that JITS is sound. It means that uh, if there is a valid state for JITS, it is also valid for the static uh, approach. And uh, JITS is complete in the sense that if the static approach uh, is not empty, if uh, the next state uh, is not empty, there is a next state for the system. It means that also JITS uh, returns a valid next state. It won't get stuck uh, if the static approach doesn't get stuck. Um, another important uh, thing that uh, we can say about JITS is that it opens uh, the way to synthesis independent extensions that can change system behavior at runtime. Uh, all this without the need to synthesize the controller. And uh, it is possible to initiate execution uh, with several uh, extensions at once to combine uh, and uh, we implemented uh, several extensions. Uh, we, I will briefly uh, touch two. And there's bookkeeping, uh, which is a technique uh, to satisfy the justice guarantee as quickly as possible. And this is achieved uh, with the Boolean uh, array that keeps track of all the justice guarantees that were satisfied so far, and it gets updated uh, on its step. Uh, there is recovery, which is an extension that attempts to recover from environment a safety assumption violation and instead of uh, uh, getting stuck or crushing the uh, system controller it still tries to find a valid next state uh, and there are more a uh, configurable set of justice guarantees uh, extensions that support gl1 star fragments of ltl and more uh, now uh, the evaluation uh, we implemented JIT on top of Spectra GR1 synthesizer. Uh, and for evaluation, we consider the following uh, three research questions. Uh, first of all, how does static controller construction uh, time compare with reliability check time? Uh, because we uh, assume that control construction may take a lot more than reliability. Uh, second is how does JITS compare with existing approaches during synthesis? Uh, third is how does JITS compare with existing approaches during system execution? Uh, with regards to uh, uh, load time, memory usage, and single step, and synthesis, uh, is synthesis time, memory usage, and the size of output. Uh, our corpus was uh, AMBA HB Arbiter and IBM Generalist Buffer, which are known uh, benchmarks from literature. And also, we used the, uh, the largest, the, the largest. <coughs> 
sorry, Syntec benchmarks from the Spectra website. Synthesis experiments were run on an ordinary PC, and uh, system execution experiments were run on a Raspberry Pi, which is a much weaker machine. Uh, this was done because we wanted to simulate a real execution environment, because uh, execution of uh, a synthesized uh, controller may run on a totally different machine than the one uh, where the synthesis took place. Uh, synthesis experiments were performed uh, on JIT, Spectra, and another synthesizer uh, named Slug. And the execution experiments were performed on JITs and Spectra. Spectra, we mean the static approach. So for, uh, to answer the first question, uh, we can see that indeed in uh, many cases, uh, construction takes uh, a lot more time than realizability. And we even emphasize some extreme cases where more than 99% of synthesis time was spent on, on construction. Uh, so you can see it here. Also for, for slugs and for spectrum. And for the synthesis evaluation, uh, we can see here, uh, we can see the columns uh, for JIT, that indeed it performs very well and outperforms both slugs and spectra uh, with regards to the construction time. Uh, with regards to the number of active nodes uh, as, as measured from the uh, BDD engine. And with regards to the size of disk, uh, the size of disk of the controller is indeed much lower for JIT. And execution evaluation, uh, we can also see that uh, JIT uh, performs very well uh, with regards to load time. And uh, in most cases, number of active nodes is also good. And also, uh, during the single step time, um, sometimes Spectra performs uh, better, but JIT also performs very well uh, uh, in many cases, even though it has to perform more uh, operations uh, during a single step. Uh, so this is, a, uh, this is a summary of the results. Uh, for most specification, construction takes considerably more time than reusability. Uh, in synthesis and execution experiments, JITs outperform the existing approaches, sometimes even by orders of magnitude. And JITs also scale better. Uh, the larger the specification, the better uh, all the measures uh, compared to slugs and spectrum. And uh, this is it. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, there, there is little time for questions. Uh, can you show? Oh, okay, you are already closed. Uh, so uh, about sorry. experiment, no problem. About experimental results, uh, there are a few questions. So, one question is um, when you say that uh, the controller is smaller uh, when you do it using JITs, what do you mean by smaller? Uh, what do you actually measure there? Uh, let me, I just want to share a screen. Uh, hold on. Sorry, okay, uh, never mind. Smaller, I mean um, the size of the controller on disk, which means the size of the uh, BDD, which encodes the controller. Uh, in the static approach, it can be very, very large. Uh, for example, uh, it can be uh, uh, hundreds of megabytes. And uh, in JITs, the encoding is very efficient, so uh, same, uh, same controller can be encoded in uh, much less memory, uh, one megabyte instead of hundreds. And later when it, when it loads, it also loads faster because the BDD engine doesn't have to deal with a uh, very large uh, BDDs, which can slow it, which can slow it down. Okay, so uh, you're saying that uh, the bottleneck is uh, the size of the BDDs, actually. Uh, it is one bottleneck. Uh, okay. Another bottleneck is the time for the for the synthesis. Uh, okay, so this answered another question, and oh, there are many questions. Did you consider different variable orderings of the BDDs to speed up and improve memory usage? And I think uh, this uh, variable ordering you should take like uh, 
there are two questions here. One is in realizability check. I think, of course, you consider it. But another question is, did you consider web variable reordering in uh, when you do con uh, controller construction, strategy construction? Mm. So you, you have this algorithm which uh, still operates on BDDs. Uh, yes, we um, did not consider specifically uh, variable reordering for JIS. But it is a it is a good direction to uh, to research. So you mean uh, the variable reordering was disabled during uh, the controller execution? Uh, okay, during synthesis, the variable reordering uh, was uh, enabled. During uh, during execution, the reordering was disabled because. It, uh, it harms the execution, it may, uh, the reordering may take a lot of uh, time and uh, there are many, there, there could be very, very long steps. Uh, and because we wanted to eliminate this, we just disable the reordering during the execution. Okay, um, thank you. So just another random question. How were the inputs during the system execution chosen? randomly or also with worst case inputs with respect to the number of states need, needed to answer? Uh, the inputs uh, of the environment, uh, when we did our uh, experiments, they were chosen randomly. Uh, but uh, if you think of it, if you choose uh, um, the inputs uh, not randomly, but uh, there is some uh, Predefined set of, of uh, common inputs, uh, it will, I think, make JITs even faster because uh, uh, the BDD engine will uh, uh, will get used to the same uh, inputs all the time, and it will improve execution performance. But we choose uh, random random inputs. Okay, uh, thank you. We are running out of time, so I will suggest to copy these questions to Slack later, mm -hmm. I will do it or we will do it and then uh, you will answer them. So thank you for your talk. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay.